time you are with us, we are chasing long beards in Kansas. This episode on Southern Banes is close encounters and misses. I'm going to go ahead and apologize now. There's probably some crime. We're going to start this video off with one of my closest encounters in Kentucky on a nice seven point. We had sat there all afternoon and seen all kind of deer, and we look into the far side of the patch and notice this nice deer coming our way. The buck follows the doe all the way into the corn and it gives me a great shot. I draw back and he turns facing me. As the deer turns to present a shot, I do the classic meh to try to stop him. That turns into a bad decision and this deer runs off and I never see him again. How <laughs> I many choked? Chase, man. What were you waiting for, dude? Oh, uh, he can say what he wants to say, but looking at the footage, he had opportunities to kill that deer. And so my book, he got buck fever. It just so happened the same trip, a nice nine point came out and gave us a great look. I mean, I, I debated shooting this deer up and down and I even had the trigger release on the bow. I just, I couldn't pull the trigger. I give Chase credit because we gave him a hard time account for choking on that seven point, but sometimes you gotta let a deer walk and see what he'll turn into next year. So good job, Chase. Another horror story this year is uh, me in Illinois in November. I have a deer come out at five o'clock that we had grunted to. He comes in and I draw back and was gonna do an apology shot, you know, off frame because you can't see and I couldn't see him. 26 yards, I had to let this deer walk instead of wounding him, you know, I decided to let him walk. In a way, I'm kind of glad that it didn't work out because from what they were talking about, it was really dark and it just wouldn't have made good footage at all. So the next morning, to tie on to that last story, is though I'm in the same tree hunting the same deer and this big eight point walks out. And he, I got him on a string. He's working a scrape line right down the woods right to me. The whole time this deer was coming, I just knew Matthew was gonna pull the trigger. I knew this was gonna be the time that he broke the curse in Illinois. And 40 yards, no shot, he decides to turn and walk into the woods. Good old Illinois jinx again, I guess is all I can say. Typical Matthew scenario, he can't make the shot. I wasn't there, but uh, I did receive some information that someone, uh, you know, he knows really close, said that he could have easily killed this deer at 40. I could understand how he couldn't pull this shot off. I mean, after all, the night before, he did miss a mouse on a sticky trip. All right, so this past year in Illinois, there was a couple mice in camp. And me and Chaser decided to bait them up and kill one with the mini crossbow. Well, the one I decided to get the opportunity to get the kill on was on a trout, and I still miss. Oh, that ain't gonna miss. <laughs> you wanna talk about Illinois jinx? That's it right there in a nutshell. I mean, how do you miss a mouse on a mouse trout? So I decided to take a friend of mine red hunting right there at the end of the season, promising him that he's gonna shoot, I'm gonna video. When I open the gate, this monster walks out and we don't have time to do nothing but me shoot. I mean, it's like taking candy from a baby. He took the gun from Rhett and just pulled the trigger. <laughs> Let me just tell you, all we got on this deer is the recovery, but what a deer he was. <clears throat> Boss man said he was gonna take me hunting. He's been talking about filming me all year. Pow! And this is what he's got. <laughs> hey, give me something though, dude. At least you got to be a part of it. Yeah, I get to be a part of it. I guess when the boss man takes you hunting, you don't really argue. If he wants to shoot, you let him shoot. So we're back in Bama hunting late season in a hay field with a shooting house. And a three deer walk out, and I'm confident I can make this shot on this last deer. He's a good deer. 400 yards, no doubt, I got this. Well, Matthew shot, the way that deer kicked, I would have bet anything that he had hit this deer. But it turns out, we looked at the footage and even went down there and looked for any kind of sign that he had been hit. I missed. <laughs> what else can I say I missed? No, I didn't choke. <laughs> it's typical Matthew fashion. He's got a kind of rushed through everything really quickly. I mean, you, you knew you probably had plenty enough time to shoot this deer. Why'd you go ahead and rush the shot? You should've just taken your time. Yet again, another Matthew horror story. He just, this boy can't catch a break. So me and my brother decide to hunt on his birthday like we do every year, and we go down to Salipta. We don't see no deer, but these group of hogs come out, and they're like a rat on acid. I don't know what they were doing. They were everywhere. Finally, I talked my brother into taking a pop shot. and We was laughing too hard, the hogs were moving too much, but somehow or another, the man that don't miss, missed these hogs. No, 
happy. <laughs> So uh, one of the last things that we feature here on this uh, episode is uh, my late season miss. Thankfully I was able to redeem myself later on in that hunt, but I don't know what exactly happened other than that I just flat out missed. Reload, reload, reload. I was very on. How the f did I miss? <laughs> Dang, good. I one shot to miss again. <laughs> They keep calling it old one shot. Maybe maybe the gun really is cursed in the first shot after all. Little did we know that it was almost a blessing for me that he missed because the next day I get to kill the same deer. The final video that we cover is whenever I took my dad hunting. He didn't bring any of his gear. I had my gun, let him hunt with it, and he missed on the first shot, you know? <laughs> you know, maybe it's true. Maybe this gun really is cursed. Hey Jeff, I don't know you, but you know better than to use a one shot. Come on, man. You know, a one shot might not be the gun. It might just be genetic. They might just be in their blood to miss the first shot. So before we wrap up the show, we got one little surprise for everyone, including the chaser. So Chase tears out from college one afternoon and decides to go do a solo film bow hunt. Right at dark, his deer comes out and he makes an awesome shot on it. And the reason this deer is a trophy in my book, even though it's not the biggest, is the fact that it was his first time ever self-filming. He shot this deer right at dark and made an awesome shot. So congratulations, Chase, on this deer. Well, there you have it. Even though we had some close encounters and even misses, we just wanted to show y'all that it's not always about the thrill of the kill, it's about the hunt. Next episode on Southern Vines, we'll be showing you the highlights throughout the season, and there are some awesome ones.